Hey everyone, it's Will with Sonda Creative, and this is an easy way to make your pictures look like they came right out of your family scrapbook. So here's a picture of your grandma 60 years ago on her wedding day, or at least it will be when we're done with it. As always, start with making a copy of the original with Command or Control J. Now right click it and convert it to a smart object. That way we can tweak any changes we make throughout the process. Now go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and all the settings I'm about to list are for an image taken indoors with good lighting. So if you're using an image taken outside or just one that has entirely different lighting conditions, the numbers are gonna be different, but you should still take these settings into consideration. Bring your contrast down to negative 30, your highlights to negative 20, your whites down to negative 60, your blacks up to 30, your clarity down to negative 70, your dehaze up to 55, and your saturation down to negative 55. Go down to effects and set your vignette to somewhere between 10 and 15, which is just gonna give you this old fashioned halo effect. Hit okay, and now let's add a little bit of visual debris. I don't actually know if that's like a correct term or anything, but it's what I use to describe it. These effects are going to invoke both the limitations of some of the cameras used back in the day, as well as how photos age over time. First thing is to reduce some of the image clarity by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 3, hit OK, and now press Command or Control Shift N to bring up this new layer box. Name it Noise, set its mode to Soft Light, its opacity to 65, and check this little box here to fill it with gray. Convert it to a smart object, and now as you might have guessed, it's time to make it a little noisy. So go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Make sure Monochromatic is turned on and set the amount to about 100. Lastly, I'm gonna add in this vintage paper texture that I've had sitting on my hard drive for years, and you can find textures just like it online for free. Drag it onto your canvas and position it in a way that's suitable for your photo, and of course, you know we're gonna right click it and convert it to a smart object. Set its blending mode to either overlay or soft light, and bring its opacity down to about 70%. This looks good, but I think a bit too much color is coming through, so I'm gonna hit Command or Control U to bring up its hue and saturation. Bring its saturation down to negative 40 and bring its lightness up to 40. And that's an easy way to make a vintage photograph in Photoshop, but here's a little bonus tip to close this out. Make a black and white layer and boom. Obviously that makes it black and white, but I'm gonna recommend you bring the fill down to 85. It still looks black and white, but it just kind of feels a bit nicer. Another thing you can do though is use the black and white layer to artificially age the photo. By setting the blending mode to screen, it makes the photo look sun damaged and it's a great tool if you need to make a fake old photo for a movie or something like that. All right, that's all I've got for you today, but have fun and I'll see you next time. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, We've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.